Hello, welcome to 811 Moon. I'm Amy and I am doing your today I'm doing your weekly spirit message. And we're gonna pick a card here. We're gonna be picking from four different ones. You're going to pick either pile one, two, three, and four. And it's gonna either be an ancestor that comes through, someone who's passed, a loved one who's passed maybe from the 3D world with you or a spirit guide or an angel. And today we have with us Archangel Michael, the cosmic leader. And thank you to Archangel Michael for overseeing this reading. And we're gonna start with looking at what you need to hear right now, what you need to know right now. Take a deep breath in, close your eyes and really meditate before you select. So you make sure that you get the right message. And the first one we have here is Elhas, which means protection and courage. Then we have Lagus, which is waters, lakes, imagination, and dreaming. Then we have Othila, which is ancestors and family. And Fehu, which is your skills and creative gifts are your treasure they're your treasure so take a minute for pile one two three four elhas lagus othila fehu take a minute there will be time stamps and we're going to start with Elhas. And what do we have here? It's not your fault. Okay. So you're blaming yourself for something, Loop One. Let's see what we have here. Relax and allow light in. We've got a tarot, the Three of Wands. Okay, so your spirit guide, the biggest, the biggest thing, it's not your fault. Something's transpired in your life that you're heavy, heavy blame on yourself for. And the spirits are telling you to, it's, that it's not your fault, that you need to relax and allow the light in. And look at the contrast of these cards where his head is down, he's trudging through cold, icy, winter and this one's bright with all the chakra colors and open and there's a rainbow total opposite so you need to you need to go from this to this and the way to do that i think is what the message is is manifesting you need to let go of your guilt let go of whatever you're holding on to and start manifesting what you want in your life raise your vibration meditation, light a candle, listen to relaxing music, do something to raise your vibration and maybe write down things you'd like to manifest in your life because whatever happened is not your fault and you need to move on. And let's see what the last message is. Assessing, yeah. You need to assess what you want out of your life and that's why you get the manifestation card too. Look to your future. Look, to, look ahead and there's a lot of emotion around you and I don't know what happened that you're blaming yourself for but you still are holding on to a lot of emotion regarding it and it's time to let that let that ocean that turbulent water settle allow yourself some relaxing time some meditation time some time to assess what you want to manifest in your life it's time to move on with whatever you're feeling guilty about and that's your message and i hope that helps you group two pile two you have lagus which is waters lakes and Imag imagination and dreaming Let's see your card i wish i had told you more often how much i love you and we have this beautiful tree here with the red, uh, I don't know if they're flowers or, oh, they're leaves that have changed. Bright, bright, bright red. 
bright red of action and heart and love. Wow, I, th I feel that this person is someone who's passed on from this life. They were with you in the 3D world and they passed on and this is why they say, I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. Well, that's powerful. Breathe and become aware and look, there's another tree. Breathe and become aware. Let's see what your tarot is. Two of coins, choices, balance. They want you to have more balance in your life. Well, let's see what we have here. Abundance. Oh, I feel like a trees again. You guys got a lot of trees. You guys have got a ton of trees. I think that they're talking to you through the trees. They are, they're, they are, they, I feel like there's a lot of breath in this, like there's a blowing breeze of trees, this calmness, this stillness, there's love, there's animals in this one, they might have really loved animals, whoever passed on, and just whatever happened to them might have happened in the fall, I'm seeing fall. or something's gonna happen abundant to you in the fall. That might be more like it. You you are gonna have some kind of abundance this fall, but they need you to breathe and become aware and make some choices. Is it that you're not moving forward, pile two? Are you, are you stuck? Because I see turbulent waters here too, and there's some ships coming in. It's like you need to step through this door group too. And your rune has to do with waters and lakes. Group two, I believe your message from your loved one, besides they wanted to let you know how much they abundantly loved you, is that you need to take action. You need to move forward. You need to make some choices. It seems like you've been stuck, which you know, that happens, no one's faulting you for it. No one's saying, you know, that doesn't happen because it's so easy to get stuck. It's easy. So this person really wants you to move forward though. And they see you as such a beautiful person. This person that passed wants you to know how much they loved you and how beautiful you were to them. You were their everything and you attract Group two, you attract positivity. You truly do. And you may be feeling stuck right now, but once you take action and get moving, it will, it will settle. You're gonna feel a peace and a calm come over you in the next month or so when you start taking action. So that's your message, group two. Group three, Othila, ancestors and family. Let's see. <laughs> How ironic. I have become one of your spirit guides, ancestors and family. So someone who's passed on has become one of your guides, group three. I think we got this before, so this might be coming through again. If someone's watching this again and picked, the, and picked this, you may have another message. So let's see where we're starting here. Oops. Fulfillment. Fulfillment. And look at the wings on her and the white spirit. Yeah, this person has become your spirit guide. Fulfillment. You have a new beginning coming, group three. You have a fiery, creative new beginning coming. And I think it's of your own You've created this, group three. And this spirit guide is letting you know they're there for you and following you and guiding you and giving you direction and peace so that you can move forward with whatever you're doing, whatever this creative new beginning is. Yeah, now it says here the dark moon the void but when I first saw this I, I saw the new moon and the new moon is new beginnings starting over when the 
when the moon is totally dark, when it's a new moon and not a full moon, when it's a new moon, that means that everything's everything's gone and starting again, right? So we can start everything new, start everything better, start everything from a place of peace and love and creativity. And that is your message, group three. What a beautiful message. Group four, Fehu, card four, let's see. My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to guilt. And look at the hands here, the clouds, the birds. There's some lightning here. Wow, someone who's watching this is really holding on to some, some guilt of someone's death. So this someone who's in the 3D world with you, who passed on, they need you to know to let it go. You're holding on to guilt that you don't need to hold on to, their death was painless. Their death was painless. You might be having nightmares or dreams or something about them having, being in some kind of situation and that's your own anxiety probably. So let's see what these cards say. Take your next steps. They want you to move on and do new things. Oh, Nine of Swords, yeah. I'm getting the message that this person, whoever you are, group four, card four, you are probably having anxiety and nightmares or flashes of image about this person's death, which probably traumatized you, not only in the loss part, but on whatever you saw. You must have seen something very um, tragic or very disheartening whatever you saw them I'm, I'm starting I'm sorry I'm filling up <laughs> okay I'm trying to get the message out but I'm also getting your emotion and you're feeling um, you're feeling guilt from it and you need to wash that away because they are at peace they're happy they've moved on to a new place a different place a better place they don't have their body anymore. They're just energy now or whatever you want to, to categorize it as. So their death was painless. The path, okay, so they really are wanting you to move forward. Okay. See this? Take your next step. The path. They want you to climb that ladder into a new existence of life here in the 3D world. So whatever you're whatever you've made of your life now since they've been gone, or whatever guilt you're holding on to, they want you to forge forth in a new path. They want you to see the green grass, the beautiful sky, in a new light, because you can let go of that guilt. It's it that guilt isn't for you anymore. It's not for you anymore. That's what I'm hearing. It's not for you anymore. Move forward, take the next steps, go into a new form of existence in this 3D life. Whatever that means to you, that's the message. So you know your life, you know what you've been doing, where you've been how you've been looking at things and how the guilt weighs you down, which I can feel it. I can feel it weighing me down. And it's time for you to look at the world differently. Sorry, I just needed to take a breath. They need you to look at the world differently. This world, they're gone now. Their death was painless, you have no guilt. Release it, release it from your life. Meditate on it, find a hobby, go out with friends. Those are the messages I'm getting. So whatever that means to you, however that resonates with you. Group four, I'm holding space for you and I wish you the best. If this reading resonated with you, if this, I hope this brought you comfort, I truly do. Um, for anyone, I hope this gave you some enlightenment. 
If you could please click the like, subscribe, and please share this video to try to help others that may need these messages, that this message may be for them, one of these four messages. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Best of luck, group one, two, three, four.